Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will talk about the composition of function. So, this topic, medyo mahihirapan tayo ng konti, but I will try my best to deliver this one na mas mapapabilis para sa inyo. Because in composition of function, this one is quite different from evaluating and operation of functions because you will do a lot of substitution here. So, without further ado, let's do this topic, guys. So, we have here the composition of function. In general formation natin or pattern natin, ang basa dito sa formation na to, f of g of x is equal to f of g of x. Pareso naman sila. O kaya pwede nyo rin siyang basahin bilang f compose of g of x. Again, f compose of g of x. So dito guys, I will explain it first time. Dito, kung mapansin nyo, nauna si f kay g. So ganito yung formation niya. Pero kung may encounter nyo ay g of f of x iba yung kalabasan niya it will become g of f of x ano yung pinagkaiba nila ng dalawa dito kasi guys nauna si f so nasa labas siya dito naman nauna si g and another thing kapag nauna si f ang magiging input natin ay si g okay dito naman since nauna si g ang magiging input natin ay si f so para mas maintindihan nyo let's have this example we have here the given functions f of x is equal to x squared plus 5x plus 6 and then g of x is equal to x plus 2. We are given two functions and then we need to try these three examples. We have here f compose of g of x. So, pansinin nyo yung input yung ano natin na nauna si f. So, ang gabi natin dito, we have f of g dahil f of g of x. So, copy natin to f of g of x. We're in again, your function g is the input. So, what we will do here is we will get this value because g of x is equal to x plus 2. Since they are equal, we can replace it by x plus 2. So, it will become f of x plus 2. Ito na ngayon yung um, primary function natin. So dito, yung modify natin to, hindi pa tayo tapos ha. Ang mangyayari dito ngayon, since meron tayong f of x plus 2, we will use x plus 2 as our input sa ating expression. Okay? Kasi function f tayo. Function f, this is your function f. At ang magiging input natin ay si g or x plus 2. It will become x squared plus 5x plus 6. Again, this is your g, eh? g of x yan. Baka malito, malito kayo. So, what we will do is we will replace all the x variable here and it will become x plus 2 squared. So, pansinin nyo, yung x natin squared naging x plus 2 squared. Tapos, plus 5 times x plus 2 plus 6. And dito, we can simplify this by... Square binomial, itong x plus 2 squared natin is the same as x squared plus 4x plus 4. Make sure na lang ako guys, pero pwede nga gumamit ng foil method dito. Dito naman, by distributive property, it will become plus 5x. Ito naman, 5 times 2 plus 10 plus 6. Okay? Now, for this time naman guys, Combine like terms. You have x squared. Dito you have plus 9x because 4x sa 5x. For the constant, we have 4 plus 10 that is 14 plus 6 that will give you the answer of 20. Ibig sabihin, ang ating f of x plus 2 is equal to x squared plus 9x plus 20. Or, ito rin ito pares nito. We have f of g of x. So, nagyan natin sagot natin dito guys ha. We have x squared plus 9x plus 20. Okay? So, buhay na natin ito.
Now let's move on with item number 2. For item number 2, we are given g of f of x. Ngayon, magkaiba sa ng formation ngayon. If you have g of f of x, that is this one. Nasa labas si g, nasa labas ng parenthesis si function f. Now, since yung ating input is f of x, punta natin yung given. Ipapalit natin kung x squared plus 5x plus 6 sa loob it will become g of x squared plus 5x plus 6. Ito na yung initial function natin. So, kung di nyo tayo, puntahan natin ito. Um, ito na mismo. Okay, ito na mismo gagawin natin. We have g of x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to, yan, copy natin yung ating function g, x plus 2. Ngayon, again, this is your uh, this is your x. Yan yung magiging input natin. Ha? Ito yung magiging input natin mismo. So, we will replace x by x squared plus 5x plus 6. It will become x squared plus 5x plus 6 and then plus 2. And simplifying this, your g of x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to x squared plus 5x, plus, this is 8. And kapares din siya nito. So we will write here our answer, which is x squared plus 5x plus 8. Ganun siya kasimple for number 1, number 2. Sa akin, para sa akin, medyo simple lang siya. Kasi basic pa yung given function natin. Ang magiging problema lang sa inyo ay yung mga pag-substitute. So I hope na uh, marunong na kayo sa basics ng algebra kasi Mahihirapan kayo sa functions, lalo na lang sa composition of functions, if you do not know how to use loss loss of exponents, you do not know how to perform operations, diba? So let's continue, let's try having item number 3. For item number 3, this one is quite different because our input here, we have a specific value for our input which is 4. Pero ang gawin pa rin natin, we have f compose g or f circle g of 4 and that is the same as f sa so, unahan so, siya sa labas and nasa loob ngayon si g pero lagyan natin of 4 okay so what we will do here is we will try to ano muna try to evaluate g function g so tayo muna natin eh. g of 4 is equal to x plus 2 Dito kasi medyo na, baka malito kayo. Dito kasi meron tayong specific value. Papalit natin si 4 dito. Okay, sa x. And your g of 4 is simply 4 plus 2. Or in other words, this is g of 4 is equal to 6. Ito na ngayon g of 4 natin. May papalit natin dito. Okay? So pwede natin hanapin ngayon si f of g of 4. Okay? Wherein, yung f of g of 4 natin is 6, di ba? So, palitan na natin ito. Gawin natin f of 6. Again, uh, yung g of 4 natin, gawin natin 6 because they are equal. Tapos, puntahan natin ngayon yung function natin. x squared plus 5x plus 6. Ito ngayon yung 6 na to, galing sa ating g of 4, we will replace x says here by 6 it will become 6x 6 squared plus 5 times 6 plus 6 okay so dito guys we have here 36 plus 30 plus 6 pag inad natin yan your f of 6 is equal to 36 plus 30 this is 66 plus 6 this will give you 72 Ibig sabihin niyo guys, if f of 6 is equal to 72, yung value ng f of g of 4 is equal to 72. So, ganun siya guys on how to do composition of functions. So, I hope na natuto kayo sa ating video on how to do composition of functions kasi mahirap itong topic ito but if you're doing practice, kahit di kayo manood sa video ko, kahit panorin niyo yung videos ng ibang mga YouTubers about this one, ang pinakagol ko talaga dito is matuto kayo on how to do composition of functions. So again, 
If you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gwan. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!